tonight, the controversial Rhode Island bill dubbed Kristen's Law is one step closer to the governor's desk. Good evening, I'm Shannon Heggie. And I'm Mike Montecalvo. The bill would create a new felony, allowing drug dealers to be charged with murder if their customers overdose. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado was at the committee's vote, and she joins us now with what both sides are saying new tonight. A number of state representatives expressed strong concerns about this bill before the vote, but it did pass the committee 10 to 6. One mother whose daughter died just days ago tells me she's hoping it becomes law. I arrived at the hospital. She was gone. She had overdosed. Desiree Sandoval is talking about her 18-year-old daughter, Olivia, who she says died of an apparent drug overdose just two days ago in Providence. Whoever supplied the drugs had to know what was in it. She came to the State House Wednesday night to watch members of the House Judiciary Committee vote on a bill that would allow drug dealers to be charged with murder if their customers die of an overdose. The man that gave my daughter the drug should be held accountable. The bill is dubbed Kristen's Law after Kristen Kutu, a Cranston woman who overdosed on fentanyl in 2014. House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello is the lead sponsor. I believe that if you're selling that kind of a product, you know that someone's ultimately going to die as a result result of them using that product and the punishment should fit the crime. But many in the drug treatment and recovery community are concerned it would hurt, not help people addicted to opiates. A lot of times in these scenarios, the role of distributor and active user or victim is interchangeable. And I'm afraid that this is going to create like a reverberating fear within the using active use population. The bill was amended to add a Good Samaritan clause so those who seek medical treatment for a person overdosing won't be charged. And the prison sentence has been changed from mandatory life to up to life, giving a judge discretion on the punishment. I believe it will save some folks' lives. And Kristen's law heads to the full House next for a vote. It has already passed the Senate. Governor Gina Raimondo says she supports it. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.